to hustle. There ain't no time for sleep. Just keep on moving. Do what you're doing. You always play for keeps. Ain't backing down. No, we're going big. Ain't stopping now. We get after it. Get after it. Jim and I are traveling today. We get to go all the way across the great state of Montana, but uh, we're, we're happy about it. Tagged out a day early in Montana, and so we woke up this morning around 4.30 and landed and headed back down to Wyoming, and we're driving back to Idaho. And uh, man, it's been a great drive so far. I can't complain, but we're gonna stop at Bozeman at uh, Sitka Gear and uh, just meet some of the guys there. And, just to make a quick stop because we've still got a long ways to go. It was about a little over a 12-hour drive from when we left this morning. So, but so far, smooth sailing, and uh, we're excited to get home a day early. What you doing there? Writing your name. Two S's. Two S's. We are on the other side of Montana. Look how beautiful it is. We are about two hours where we left Jim's truck and uh, we're excited to be home. But we're sitting here trying to think of something we could do for this today's video and we're like, well, We'll do a quick recap of each state and how the hunts went down and everything. So starting off in Colorado, we got a late start getting down there that Saturday morning and uh, end up getting there in the afternoon. Tons of snow, people have sliding off the road, found some few deer. Next day we went and checked out new areas, found some more deer and ended up finding the spot where I killed my buck the next day. And so it took us two days to kind of finally get our the, the bearings and where we wanted to be and everything. And then that Monday, the third day, went up the hill and I shot my buck. And just about the same time as I shot my buck, Brandon Walker from Avid Hunter shot his buck in a totally different part of the unit. Got them all packed out. The next day we went back in and uh, Billy Strode came up with Henry Ferguson and uh, we ended up getting him that little buck, that little spike, and he was super happy, his first mule deer. And later that evening, uh, or afternoon I guess, we got Toby settled in behind the gun works and made an awesome shot at 500 yards on his mule deer. Uh, and then the next day, tons more deer and that was the day we were heading leaving everyone was kind of splitting up and people were going home and we were Jim and I were heading towards Wyoming saw a lot of bucks just nothing that Jim and Jason wanted to shoot and uh, we left around noon to go up to Wyoming got to Landon's house and so Wyoming the first day super dead saw four does in the morning and then that was it and then we went to Gunworks offices and got to meet everyone and it was really awesome and that evening we ended up finding one good buck and uh, kind of put them to bed for the next morning and uh, the next morning woke up early went in there spotted him right off the bat ended up being a different buck but it was that decent three-point landing shot and, and we left Jim down there on the bottom with the spotter and we and Landon and I went up there and 420 yards shot his buck and uh, 430 maybe I can't remember what it was but he hit it we went up there packed it out and then went to the gunworks range stretched uh, Ursula the 28 nozzler out to a thousand yards and uh, got the confidence up, went back out that night and I shot the four by club. And uh, that was at last light. And the very next morning at 3 a.m., we drove to uh, Montana. We're gonna let Jim tell you about Montana because I didn't have a tag for Montana. So we're gonna get the hunter's perspective. All right, so like Ross said, wrapped up Wyoming and got up at three in the morning, headed for Montana. We had about a four and a half hour drive. So we tried getting up to the state line about daylight, and we did, and we started kind of hunting our way into the area that we were looking to go, and we are seeing some little bucks, one pretty decent four point that, you know, in hindsight, we probably should have shot, but at the same time, it didn't matter. 
uh, we got to our area and it took us a couple days. The first day we kind of drove around, started learning some of the country, found a few deer, a couple little bucks, but nothing we wanted to take at that point. Then we went on uh, day two, same thing, just kind of familiarized ourselves with some country, looking at some other stuff, and then we found a ridge right towards the evening that we really wanted to hunt, had a lot of potential, the right cover, and actually had some deer on it, which was an added bonus. So we decided that was gonna be our game plan for day three. Day three went in there. Uh, the morning was a little slow, spotted a couple smaller bucks uh, and uh, nothing we want to shoot though, but then we worked over into a new area. Right away, picked up a couple different bucks and uh, I went over and we found one that I wanted to shoot. So we set up on him and then uh, he started walking in a little closer. So as you'll see in the vid or as you saw in the video, we got him at about 150 yards and then uh, right after we packed mine out we heard uh, Landon Mike from Gunworks he was able to take a really nice little four point um, right before dark and that concluded Montana for us so now we're on the way back home. I just pulled into my driveway after about 15 and a half hours of driving across the state of Montana and across the state of Idaho and back up to the house and can't wait to go inside and see the family um wasn't really planning on having an extra day but i'm sure happy i i'm gonna have this extra day here um so i have a day tomorrow to get things situated till we leave thursday morning to head in for the idaho leg and uh so far it's been going great just like i said excited to be home for a for a day and uh see the family and being gone for 11 days i guess so far right now can't wait to get in there and see them and uh, tomorrow I'll kind of show you what the bomb looks like in my truck right now. We've got gear scattered everywhere. I'll kind of go through what I'm going to do for the Idaho hunt. And uh, man, thanks for following along. I know today was kind of a short video. Didn't we are just kind of traveling all day. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll check with you tomorrow. Today is my off day, my organizational day. I went into the office today and dumped all the footage from uh, Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana. Now I'm at home getting everything packed up and ready for leaving tomorrow morning for the Idaho leg. And uh, my truck looks like a bomb went off in it. So I've got a lot to organize, do some laundry, and then get ready for tomorrow. So we'll check back in with you. I think Travis might be heading up into Idaho today. So we'll see what he can find up there. And uh, we'll add some of that footage that he gets from today for today's video. And we'll meet him in the morning. And uh, we're gonna take the horses in and try to find some more bucks. So today's video was pretty much just traveling back from Montana back into Idaho and I went in and dumped some footage um, from all the other hunts onto my, my computer in the office. So not a whole lot going on, not a lot to recap. Tomorrow we're heading into the Idaho backcountry. Uh, my dad comes up and we meet up with him and Jared Cash and uh, we're heading into some rough country. We're taking the horses in about eight miles and looking for some mule deer. So you're not gonna wanna miss tomorrow's video. I love the Idaho series of the, of the Icon Tour leg. Um, I think mostly just because it's my home state and, uh, and it's on the horses like how we normally hunt. So man, you guys are definitely gonna wanna check into the Idaho series of the Icon Tour and uh, see how that all plays out. But I'm gonna jump right into announcing one of the winners of the giveaway. So this is from the day eight video, which was the Vortex prize package. So once again, you just had to comment and subscribe and I'm gonna announce the winner right now. So the winner is, got him in my hat here. Winner of the Vortex prize package is Backcountry Addictions. That's their name on uh, YouTube, Backcountry Addictions. You are the winner of the Vortex prize package. Thanks for commenting on that video and subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate it. We appreciate everyone else that subscribed and left comments. And like I said before, we, we love reading your guys' comments. And uh, so we really appreciate all the support. Um, so I'm gonna jump into announcing today's giveaway, which is going to be um, brought to you by Elk Mountain Tents. Um, we use these tent down in Colorado and then I run the, the Desert Challenge Archer Shoot and we've used it there for the last couple years. So Elk Mountain Tents have been a great supporter for the last couple of years. Make an awesome um, canvas tent. Justin's a great guy. Um, so right now we're giving away an Elk Mountain Tent um, hat as well as a $200 gift certificate 
to use on the Elk Mountain Tent website. So really appreciate that. If you're in the need of a canvas tent, comment below. Tell us tell us why you need a canvas tent, or if you're looking for a canvas tent, we want to give someone this gift certificate um, that's going to use it for a canvas tent. So leave a comment down below. Tell us why you need a canvas tent and what you would do with that gift certificate, and you'll be entered in to win on that um, for this Elk Mountain Tent prize package. So we really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe, tell a buddy about it, um, follow us on social media, and uh, man, check back in tomorrow. We're heading into the Idaho backcountry, and you're not going to want to miss it.